On PM Express tonight, minority march against election violence in the Yawaso West Wagon constituency, depoliticizing state security. This has been one of the conversations that I guess this country is having. I mean, the last one week, the number of statements we've had from civil society groups, the clergy, everybody in this country who matter has issued a statement on what happened last week. And that's why this conversation is important. It never stops, by the way, because there are developments on it every single day. Today, the minority MPs walked out uh, in protest against the swearing in of the uh, newly elected Ayawaso West Wagon uh, MP who was sworn in today, and they raised several issues. They headed to the uh, police headquarters and demanded action on what they described as brutalities against uh, their own. You remember Sam George, who is the MP for Ningo Prampra himself, was a subject of assault. And now the action, they say, was to solidarize with the victims of the violence. And you see here, these are real victims' pictures you're seeing. These are not pictures that we've taken from anywhere. These are real victims of last week's, uh, you know, violence that we saw in Ayawaso. And they, they mentioned the fact that during the election that gave Lydia Hassan that seat in parliament, this happened. And you see them walking uh, to parliament today uh, to make that very point that they are solidarizing, but also demanding action from the police. Some, one of the things they asked today that they've issued a two-week ultimatum to the IGP, to the police, but also to the president to step in and, and order for the perpetrators to be arrested, but also issued a probe into what has happened. We are, we are getting a statement from the police that I'll be sharing with you shortly. We know that the first deputy speaker of parliament, Joe Sousu, who was in the chair today, raised concerns, in fact, was unhappy with the minority decision to boycott proceedings when their, their new colleague was being sworn in today. The majority... Uh, uh, MPs have expressed disappointment at the walkout. We know that former President Rawlings has been speaking as well. He issued a statement just yesterday on this matter, and he says, "Quote: Those bent on using violence to achieve their aims must be prepared to answer for their actions." The question is whether anybody will really be made to answer for what happened last week. We've seen uh, this is a a man who played a very central role in the national security back in the day under Rawlings himself, former national security boss, so to be quite also issued a statement last week insists the conduct of the government and the EC betrays the president's legacy. Uh, that's what he chose to do. It was a, a letter he written to the president. We've heard also from Imad Bombani, who was a former uh, deputy foreign affairs minister, but also, is more importantly, founder of WANEP, West Africa Network for Peace Building. He's condemned the violence as well. Uh, in a statement that WANEP issued today, they said the country is in a security nightmare. Uh, that has been an issue. USAID, USAID has also condemned the issue. UNDP has also raised issues about it as well. So the, tonight, the, the conversation that we're going to have tonight with the members of parliament themselves and the leadership is, is parliament playing politics with attacks on one of your own? But fundamentally also, as a bigger conversation, how do we depoliticize our state security. Stay with us here on PMS. And when we return, my guests will be seated and we'll delve into the nitty gritties. My guest in the studio tonight, James Sagaga, is a ranking member on the uh, Defense and Interior Committee. He was one of those lawyers who escorted his colleague. Some, jo some George to the police headquarters today to uh, file an official complaint. Also with us is a, uh, a, is, is a first deputy majority whip in the House. Uh, Martin Yindam is also my guest tonight. Uh, we'll be joined on, on, on by WhatsApp by Dr. Rashid uh, Dramani, Executive Director, Africa Center for Parliamentary Affairs. Uh, thank you, gentlemen, for your time here on PM Express. I want to start with a statement that I come in from the police uh, an hour ago, uh, and it gives an update on the investigations so far, I guess on the back of your visit there today, um, the, the, uh, the, the David Clue issued a statement and said the IGP has expanded uh, the committee tax to investigate the Ayawaso West constituency by election uh, shooting incident to cover the professional as well as criminal conduct of those involved in the incident. Now, the, the, it's interesting that he's saying those involved, because we've seen footage of those who were involved in the incident already. Now, the investigation committee is headed, and this is the first time we're getting to know the details of those who are investigating this matter. It's headed by the Deputy Director General of CID, ACP, Mr. George uh, Chenebois, and other members are from the Police Professional Standard Bureau, which is headed by Kofi Boache, we know, Police Legal and Prosecution Directorate, 
police operations as well as directives uh, from the police crime detectives from the police crime scene unit and airport <coughs> division. Meanwhile, statements have been taken from 16 victims of the shooting incident. So police is working on this. 16 victims. However, statement form, statement form has been issued to Honorable Sam George MP for Nigo Prampan to submit uh, same for necessary action. Uh, video footage connected to the incident are being critically examined to aid investigations. He also says, the police administration wishes to assure that it has taken note of concerns raised by members of the public, parliamentarians, statesmen, and reputable organizations, among others, and that thorough investigations will be conducted in line with ongoing transformation agenda of the police service aimed at ensuring the highest professional standards in the Ghana police service. And then it goes ahead to ask the public to provide <coughs> information if they have it uh, to assist the police in investigations. Mr. Gaga, what's your reaction to this? Well, Evans, um, good evening to your cherished viewers. Um, this reaction from the police, I'm sure, um, once again was inspired by our visit, or if you like, our march uh, to the police headquarters this morning, because uh, not until we did that, we took the action to march to the police headquarters uh, to solidarize with our colleague, the Honorable Sam George, who was brutally assaulted uh, on the day of the by-election, and also to, to further impress upon the IGP to deal with the investigations in an expeditious manner, I am sure this statement would probably not have been released. Um, I mean, if you look at the content, so what were they waiting for all this while? I mean, this statement could have been released. Uh, if you consider the fact that the case of Honorable Sam George uh, was very disturbing, I mean, it was one of the things that came to the spotlight, and that for so many days after he had lodged a complaint with the Legon police, I mean, they simply asked him to go and that they were going to extend an invitation to him. That never happened until today. I mean, this morning. You said they're giving him a form today. No, that happened today, only okay. today, after we had accompanied him to the police headquarters. Okay. So, I mean, clearly, there was some amount of inaction um, on the part of the police. And I, I, I don't begrudge the police because the task they have been assigned is a Herculean one. Why do you say that? I mean, how can the police investigate their own boss? Brian mm -hmm. Achampong is their boss. He's the Minister of State at the, the Ministry for National Security. But if whilst the whilst Brian Achampong remains in office, Evans, how is it possible for the police to subject him to proper interrogation? Nobody is about the law, you know that. No, but, 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 but it appears Brian Achampong is. But they have set up a committee. They told us the, co the composition of if the committee. If Brian Champon were not above the law, he wouldn't deploy armed tax goons to visit violence on innocent civilians who went out there on election day to cast their vote. Was it with the that goons? The goons were neither police officers nor military officers. No, the, the police. Where did they come from? Who armed them? National security. National security. National security doesn't arm uh, uh, vigilantes. To visit violence on, I mean, they don't have a on, on Ghanaians, they are not supposed to have. Remember that you can't raise a standing force, be it the police or military, without a legal framework in place to regulate their activities. So only the police and the military are allowed to raise a standing force? Absolutely. The Immigration Anything Service we recently passed legislation to give and, them and parliament to, to give them the power to yeah. bear fire Even arms. that, I remember there was, there was a huge tussle because of uh, trying it, to justify that. Yes, yes. Because of the borders. Yes. So we had to justify that. So, 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 I mean, if you consider the fact that the police themselves are having a difficulty uh, with, with the way the investigations ought to be conducted. I mean, in this statement, we're told that they have just expanded the scope of investigations. Yes. It means that our action today has triggered something positive. We don't know that. No, no, but the, I mean, we are we, it, only today, but the, the I mean, I mean only today, we are now being told yeah. that the scope it of investigations have been, 
Maybe just coincidence. Well, that if it know. were, I, I, I should say that, look, this has been late in coming. Okay. This has been late in coming. Let me bring your, your leader on this. Uh, Mr. Nyindam, uh, this is a subject that has taken the whole country and gone international. What's your reaction to the police statement tonight? Well, Evans, let, let me first of all greet your, your viewers. And then um, thank you for having, having me. Today is my first time I'm appearing. I'm grateful program. that you're here. So I'm grateful. You know, no Ghanaian. Mm -hmm. is proud of what happened at Iowa so well. So let's all establish that fact. In as much as I agree with some of the, the issues that my friend raised, we will not also sit down and allow NDC to try <coughs> to take some political capital out of this. Because we think that issues like this should be given a national attention. And if we want to look at it from that perspective, we need to bond together. And that's the only way we can move forward. Now, I agree with him that uh, their march to the police today is giving some kind of reaction. Yes, I want to agree on that note. You know why? When we are in opposition, it is easy to bastardize and insult and denigrate and run down state institutions. It's very easy, okay? If some judge admits on radio, your sister station, mm -hmm. he doesn't trust the police. He will not make any case. He doesn't trust the Ghana police. The same Sam George today with his colleagues marched to the headquarters. Now trusting the police. Hmm? Now trusting the police that the police can do some kind of work for them. Obviously, the police will do it. But if you run that, that state institution and you don't go to report because you don't trust them, what do you want them to do? What do you want? You see, we are members of parliament. And some of these issues, we are all not proud of it. So when, when you want <coughs> partisan positions in some of these matters, it's a cause of worry where, to where, where is the partisanship? Can you draw the line for me and isolate it? I've just mentioned what Sam George said. Because he doesn't trust the police. He says he doesn't trust poli the police. But doesn't he have the... He's been assaulted by, the, by people who claim to be from the police. Yeah, so he doesn't trust them. But if the person beats you up, how can you report... <laughs> today, to so, so, so today, they marched to the police with Sam George. And he said the police never treated Sam George fairly because considerably they've not given him the opportunity to even write his statement. Mm. He mentioned that. Yeah. The same group of persons you don't trust. That the same people, the same group of people, you now want justice from, you now want assistance from, and I'm telling you that such comments do not build nations, and we, as members of parliament, should as much as possible try to run away from some of those comments because it doesn't help anybody. Yes, your supporters down there, people who who want to cheer you up, will be happy when you make some of these these comments, but as a nation builder, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't speak well of you. Now. We, I'm sure we'll get to the floor of parliament, sure, what sure, happened sure. today. Sure, sure. You see, if you look at what happened today on the floor of parliament, okay? Yeah, they boycotted. Yes. <laughs> Not just boycotting, but they insulted the personality of the woman. Explain that. What, 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 what did they do to insult her? You, 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 your reporters were in the house. Well, we've seen footage. Of when, when, when you call yeah. a colleague member of parliament, a, a bloody, bloody, bloody widow. Bloody widow. And, and what he's explaining, I'm sure you've seen the videos, coming from Parliament today when the minority decided to boycott and, and hoisted uh, sheets on which is big, many inscriptions were written. One of them is Bloody Widow that some have condemned. It's what, that's what you're referring yes. to. Yes, so, so if you begin to, 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 to behave that way, yes, Sam George is a colleague of mine. What happened to Sam George, I will not wish that for myself. So why should I wish that for him? Where as even a leader as a whip, I'm supposed to protect him. I'm supposed to give him all the welfare courtesies that but I, I can. But are you? Yes, I am. I am. If, if you are ready for it. The minority leader tried to bring this up to the speaker's attention last week. He was, he was shut down. You, you know something? Parliament is a very nice place. And we do things. Sometimes we agree much, much, much more. But yeah, that some of these issues, when it comes, people think that we are not, we are not, we are not together. Yeah. Every morning before we sit, yeah. leadership, we have the opportunity to <clears throat> meet speaker. And that's why we call pre-sitting. At pre-sitting, very sensitive issues, issues of national interest, we discuss it. Issues that are supposed to come on the floor, we discuss it. So if the minority leader decides 
And speaker, this speaker has always said it that look, he is not prepared for surprises. He's not the type of person that you will want to use the floor of parliament to, to spring surprises on him. He will not allow you. Okay? And if you want us to look at these issues together, you raise it at pre sitting. We look at it who, who is going to raise it, who is going to support it, because it is of national character. But immediately you raise it and you want to gain some political, partisan political position out of it. Obviously, you should know that we'll shoot you down. We will shoot you down because it is not helping anybody. It's not. And that is what I'm urging my colleagues from the minority that look, for once, by elections have not helped anybody. We've made a lot of gains when it comes to when it comes to the, the democracy and running elections in this country. But all the time, you see that by elections will always draw us back. Yeah. Triponi. Talk about Triponi. Uh, talk about uh, talent. Talent. Talk about Atiwa. Are you getting me? Yeah. And unfortunately, people begin to lose confidence and begin to raise false alarm towards the, the bigger election ahead of us. Yeah. So I think that even as a state or as a nation, we have to treat by elections in a very in in, in, in another form. Because what are you suggesting? What we suggest? I have I have I have said it somewhere. I have supported my friend Mubarak from a Kumbungu that look. All things being equal, we are 275 MPs. All things being equal. We are all supposed to serve for four years. Are you getting me? If today I'm no more, the people of Panda decided that, look, they want a member of parliament from the MPP. Okay? They've given me the mandate. Unfortunately, God called me to glory. Why do we have to go and suggest such persons to vote in again? Let's do internal elections and get somebody to represent. So the incumbent party will exactly. do a primary. Exactly. You and get a primary and then you elect and then you become a member of parliament. If as you know something, people don't look at some swing seats where we've had by elections, apart from strong seats, the members of parliament that we elect during the by elections, the next elections, they lose. They don't win. Yeah. Because such individual did not work for that victory. DT Baba won. As that's what I'm saying, strong areas are different from swing the seat areas. Was, was held yeah. by the obviously that was the Tung, first time Tung, yeah that was the, the first time the that is what I'm saying. that was the first time tongo rana held that seat bt entered in the by election I'm and, and, and won the I'm seat again that. Okay. Let's, i'm not disputing that what i'm saying is that strong areas okay strong areas those individuals keep winning if you take ayawa ayawasu what is the name asawasi for instance mm -hmm. mutaka came on by election he's been winning i can go to bimbla dominic came by election, he lost the next election. Okay, go to where Colin Zauda is currently, currently a member of parliament. A lady came when the husband died. She lost the next election. Okay, go to that. that, that we, we have about four or five that are maybe in the process when I get them mm -hmm. out. You see, so eventually those by elections don't help us, and they come with violence because the whole party machinery, the whole government machinery is there. Okay, so I think that some of these issues, the violence, like I said, every well-meaning Ghanaian, just like you said, mm. the president has condemned it, the, the council, what that Christian council, everybody, everybody, no. and members it's of parliament, you know why members of parliament were not able to come together? Why? Because people think that it is time to, for us to make some political <laughs> gains. And when you do that, obviously you don't expect me to follow you. When you can call my, my MP a bloody widow, <coughs> you want me to come and support mm. you to fight for some judge, how are you going to do it? Evans. Evans, first of all, let me correct um, the majority deputy chief whip that when Sam George stated that he did not trust the police, he said that within a certain context. So what is the correction? Honorable Sam George was beaten up in the full glare of police officers. Videos. Videos would prove that. Yeah. They did nothing to rescue Sam George from his assailants. So, I mean, if you are confronted with violence, violence is meted out onto your person, and those who are supposed to protect you look on. In fact, while Sam George was being beaten, something fell on the ground. If you watch the one of the footages, footages, the police officer picked it and gave it back to the person who was busy assaulting Sam George. I mean, if you are confronted with a situation like that, on the spare of the moment, you, you, would, you, would, you, you may even say something worse. Ah, okay. <laughs> but but so, so, so some George's statement ought to be put in its proper context. Look, having said that, you uh, want to find fault with 
the placards we brandished this morning and to, try to, and to try to justify why you have not teamed up with the minority in solidarity with our Mr. colleague Gaga, who was brutally Black, assaulted. And bad taste. First of all, Evans, this afternoon when I spoke with you, yeah. I made a point. That the lady in question is not even a widow. But you said he's black. No, 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 no. So that was a mistake. She's not even a widow. So if we, we, we described her as such, and that is why people are angry, let us correct ourselves. That to start with, the woman is not a widow. She's not a widow because together we're at the funeral. You we me. all saw the obituary notices. Did you see her name? I, I was at the funeral. Did you see her name feature anywhere as widow of our late departed no. beloved colleague? No. No. So what is the issue here? In any case, so we are saying that her, her hands, though? her hands are soiled with the blood of the innocent Ghanaians who were brutally shot at okay. without any provocation. Be, be, before, before the on. point is this. Before you go, Evans, no, let, no, me, no, let me no, let I'll, me I'll land let on go. this. I'll let you go. Before you I want go. to land on this. Having, having a, a, acknowledged that the, the way you captured was wrong. No, no, no. The description, the, description, the, the use yeah. of the word you widow. Said, you use the word mistake. Because she's not even mistake. She's not a widow. I get you. She's not the widow of the late. A jackal. Use the word mistake. Would you at least mistake, apologize mistake, for mistake, her mistake, side? mistake, um, with respect to the use of the word widow, but not the but word, the use of the by. word blood is justified. Okay. It is justified in the sense that those Ghanaians who were shot at, you know, they did that because of her. Mm -hmm. She's the beneficiary of the violent elections that we witnessed at Ayawaso West Uogo. Yes, it's because of her. Brian Achampong unleashed those goons, those arm-wielding goons, to visit violence on the eight Ghanaians who were shot at and are currently in hospital. And so if anybody would not apologize to the people, the victims of that attack, why should a mere description of Madame Seram as a person whose hands are tainted with the blood of the eight people who were shot at be a problem? We stand by the inscriptions on those placards. They are justified. To the extent that my brother sitting here, the Honorable Nyindam, has not found space in his heart to even go to the hospital and visit the wounded. The president didn't do that before flying out of this country to attend to international business. When home is not well, all is not well at home, you expect us to apologize. The woman's hands are tainted with the blood of the, 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 our wounded colleagues. So we are not shy to say so. With all due respect. So that's why you boycotted her. That's why we boycotted her swearing in. Why should we glorify such a person? Why should we glorify her swearing in ceremony? In fact, our candid view is that the Electoral Commission ought to have annulled the results. Really? Yeah, they ought to have annulled the why? results. Why? An election that because was characterized by widespread violence and intimidation. No, but, but, but the facts show that this only happened in one area. One polling station Evans. in Baolishi out of more than a hundred polling Evans. stations. Have you read? Why, why is Evans. that enough to cancel have, the whole? Have election? you read the Kodeo report? If I you read the Kodeo which report, which is not in dispute, by the way. Oh, who is disputing the it? Electoral Commission the, disputing it. So, and that is the more reason why the Electoral Commission chairperson Jean Mensah has questions to answer. Why? Because look, the look, the I have spoken. Kodeo. I have spoken to a candidate who stood on the ticket of the uh, Progressive People's Party. Mm -hmm. He went round. He told all the polling stations. Remember, he didn't boycott the elections. Yes. He says, and I'm quoting him, that wherever he went to, he saw those heavily armed tacts in their masks. Everywhere? In, everywhere, in all the polling stations. But in, across even, the but, constituency. But even didn't no, give this, us a this is this is this is a candidate's account. Mm. But Kodoyo also tells us that at the Roman Rich polling station. A police officer dared to challenge those and armed, they set on him and they beat him up. But EC dis disputes that. EC but that, that is why the EC's chairperson's account should be taken with a pinch of salt. Why? I why have do you corroboration. Believe the candidate of the PPP uh, account corroborates what Kodoyo says about mm. Roma, what happened at Roma Ridge. Mm. There's, a, there's a clear corroboration there. Others who went to vote and ran away from the, the, the polling stations. For instance, the security deployment was unusually heavy. Six police officers, but they were not armed. In addition to that, the masked armed men, whether they came from space 
or mass. We know, only where, God we knows. know where they came from now. So why? When Brian I'm Champong saying said, so in, in context. No, Brian Champong has said where they came very from. Well, and so Brian Champong should be the first. Now we're saying that investigation should be conducted. But Brian Champong remains at post. So tell me, how are we going to be able to investigate a person like that? Mm -hmm. But shouldn't Brian Achampong have been relieved of his post by now to pave the way for the investigations to be carried out to in, 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 in a manner that wouldn't be uh, 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 interfered with? He should say step aside. But the fact that we, the, 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 uh, the political establishment hasn't even had the courage to take that decision speaks volumes. That is why we believe that the investigation, I mean, should even be carried out by a, a commission of inquiry or a bipartisan committee so from, that justice what, can be parliament? done. Yeah, it could be from parliament. It could be a commission of inquiry set up under the constitution to be chaired by a justice of the superior court. Yes. Okay. So, that, so that, I mean, in the full glare of the public, witnesses can be called. And we don't see. Let, let me ask we the don't, We don't listen to the account the, on the TV. The is not the only entity that has called for this. A lot of civil society groups have also called for this. Is it something that your side will back? Like an investigation into this? Not an investigation, like a high power commission of inquiry? Yeah, yeah. That other level of bipartisan? You know, Evans, is he? James is, uh, he's been a minister before. Mm -hmm. And I would want to say, let's be nation builders for once. And I hate comparing bad things. I hate it. Sometimes they force us to do it. And it doesn't build the nation. Wrong is wrong. There is nothing that justifies it wrong. Yeah. Like Ayahuasca is wrong. It's wrong. Yeah. But why haven't we seen action? I'm coming. It's a bright champion is at a post. He yes. has admitted I deported the people who went to beat you, up people. You know, you know something. That's what I'm saying. I don't want us to compare bad things. Because all the time when you listen to people who are not politicians, who have lived the NDC and the MPP out because they will come and be equating this man as done that. Sometimes it hurts me. But you're saying the trip only happened. I'm coming. It hurts me. I'm you know what? I'm, I'm coming. You see, you when go. you say that, you are refusing to glorify the woman because <laughs> her hands are tainted with blood. But isn't that true? Oh, it's true. Are you getting me? It's true. I want to grant my brother that. It's true. You see, mm. on... If you continue to play those pictures, you will see BT Baba following them. Are you getting me? His hands are tainted with blood. Uh, following who? Your, your group. I mean, the group that went to the headquarters yeah. because he was a member of. He's a member of parliament. He followed you people. He said he, he sits with you. His hands are tainted with blood. Are you getting me? I don't what? understand. Like, why? why you uh, say? Anybody who <laughs> benefited from bad <laughs> election that. Was characterized with violence okay. because oh, so BT Baba, Be oh, yeah, yeah exactly. I get are you getting, are you getting the, 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 the I get you. That is my problem because at, at what's the talent? Oh. People were shot. And eh? ask Fred Blay, he will tell you his experience. People have to run for their lives. BT Baba was elected with blood. You never, you never, you never condemned it. Honorable mm -hmm. Jabaiti, it took the, the God's intervention for Dr. Frampon and Co. to be around Yendi to save that man that was shooting into the crowd. And in your group, in your group, you said that the man who was shoot, shooting is, is part of the national security. Who said? Who, is that, is, is, if you want to take your phone and Google now, yeah, are you getting yeah, me? I mean, because, uh, just before I came, I deliberately went to search again. Yes. On the back of all that, we asked the Interior Minister Makwayongo. Yes. He said violence begets violence. Yes, exactly. That's what he I'm trying to get to. He justified that yeah. violence. He, that, is, that is his boss. Oh, yeah. Listen, you, 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 you were a deputy then, You were a deputy then. No, Evans, you see, what happened was that. Yes. Will, will you let me finish? No, but oh, let, let me finish. Make a note. I thought you were a deputy No, I was a deputy minister. No, you see. No, make a note. No, I, no, make a note. So that is okay. a direct you write attack. It. No, I need no, to it is not. Okay. Can, can, can he respond you, briefly? No, let him write it. No, no, let me respond before I forget. No, no, no. James is not a brief person. You write it down. I know him. You see, when we do that, James, don't worry, I'm a good friend. When you do that, you, when you do that, I'll, I'll make no, sure no, you no, remember. No, I have to respond to I'll this. I'll make sure you remember yes, and respond. Yes, yes. I'll, 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 I'll respond to this. Let, let him, when I'm ending, I'll even prompt you <laughs> so that you, you can come in. Because your boss said violence, you get violence. Yeah. Okay? When you say people's hands are tainted with blood, and because of that, they shouldn't be glorified. I don't expect you to glorify Honorable Jabaiti. Because he came at the back of violence, and he was elected as a member of parliament. Mm. BT shouldn't. 
Are you getting what I'm saying? But these people are members of parliament. And when they came, in as much as we disagreed with the, the process, what went on, the, the violence, members of parliament from the minority by then, we never walked out. We never insulted them. We attacked the states. Okay? Today, if you are claiming that you were boycotting parliament because you, you think that people are lying down in the hospitals, the violence, and the police failed, you, you people at Ayawaso, the woman, what has he done? Does he control state security? Does the woman control state security? He, he says I, he's a beneficiary I of I am violence. not disputing that. I'm the, but I've established that point that if that is the case, then BT and uh, what is the Jabaite, he, he sitting down here should have thrown them out. His boss endorsed that violence, you get violence at Tellens. Oh, no. Let, let him see, respond. Are you getting what no, I'm saying? No, 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 so no, I am no, saying no, that, no. look, this equation, <coughs> yeah. I hate it. And, and, that, is I why, like and it. that is why I wanted you gentlemen here. I don't like it. Because as you notice in the topic, we said we are depoliticizing exactly. state security. Uh, I'll come back to that substantive, but please address that. Yes, Evans, you see, what happened at Talensi was a clash <laughs> of the supporters of the major two political parties, MPP and NDC. That was what happened at Talensi. I was there. If you were not at Talensi, I, I was there. there. I was in Talensi. I was, I was right there. in Talensi. So the security agencies of state intervened and restored calm. Okay. But what we are talking about at Ayawasu was that state security, so-called state national security operatives, were brought in purposely to visit harm. That's not true. Because, ah. because Brian Champo has said that they got intelligence that in your candidate's house, they had intelligence that something... You are about to commit crime. And the police and the national security, they are empowered by law, you know this, when they suspect that somebody is about to commit crime, to Evans. go in. Which is what they did. And Evans. they thought people were resisting. Evans, under Article 18 of our Constitution, privacy of home is a fundamental right. Did when, they, when, when, no, did, not when you are committing did, a crime. Did they, did they obtain a court warrant to search the premises of Mr. Delali, our candidate? Did they do that? In any case, did they arrest anybody? From the Lali's residence, I think people were arrested. Did, people were arrested. From, from his residence, did they recover the weapons that were supposed to be? Well, Brian Champon explained on did, news did, file did, that did, it's did, an ongoing investigation. Did they recover weapons from his residence? He says it's ongoing, so no, they but might we can't recover. allow Brian Champon to run amok with these excuses. Did they recover anything from the residence? So whose intelligence did he act upon? In any case, the state's intelligence. In any case, is he an operational person? If you receive intelligence as a minister of state, ministers are supposed to chair out policy and allow professionals to implement. You see the IGP, you see the chief of defense staff. Exactly when they, Why did he take it upon when, himself when to, deploy, chief, to deploy those tax? When the operation chief in charge of the day said he didn't know that. Look, so the actions of Brian Achampong cannot be justified under any stretch of imagination. In any case, let me, tell, let me caution my brother here. If you want us to do a, the game of equalization here, you, you attribute uh, uh, this uh, uh, phrase, violence begets violence, to my former boss, Honorable Mako Yungu. Am I the Have one? Have you forgotten? Am I the one? After the Tiwaba <laughs> elections, the, the now president, yes. then candidate Akufado, yes. said, yeah, I can for yeah, throw me be big a cra. Yes, I want a Tiwano. Yes, I remember Almost, president yeah, said that. Yeah, I can yes. for the I president. Yes. All that be that. Yeah, I, uh, yes, all that he said that. This came. I will not come from a minister I'm, of state. This one. It, it came from. This one is not me. The person than the one person is not who is now president. This one is not important. You want us to engage in the game of equalization? This one is not in contest. In this studio, don't go there. I mean, this one is not in contest. Don't go there. So, so it's not in contest. I think what this what this establishes is coming to the bigger point that all the civil society group clergy is making that I think both of you agree that something is fundamentally wrong. Yes. Both, both of you have been engaged, your parties have been engaged in this. Yes. And it has been condemned widely. I think, don't you agree it's time for something fundamentally to change in the way we do things? I agree with okay, you. Okay, you, you agree? Yes. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> We're going to explore that in detail. How we fix this, how do we... One of the biggest problems that has to be addressed, in Taling it was obvious, in Tripon it was obvious, in Ayawaso it was obvious. Party folks, activists who have been then been recruited and armed by and under the guise of state forces and wielding guns and shooting into crowds and beating people up. So how do we depoliticize our security? Thankfully, he's been a deputy interior minister before. Um, really at the heart of the conversation is that. And remember in Ayawaso, 
The operations commander of the police service, national operations commander, said he's not aware of the guys in the mask. But they came in a police SWAT vehicle. Some of the guy who was driving in the video we've seen wearing a police uniform. So who are these? Brian Champo says he deployed them. So are these people officially trained, sanctioned, integrated police <coughs> folks in the national security apparatus? Or these are, and as NDC has alleged, and they've identified some of them, these are NPP foot soldiers, invincible forces guys, who's just now been you know, trained and armed, which NDC also is accused of doing in Talency and elsewhere. So how do we fix this problem ahead of 2020? That's a conversation we have in one return from the break. You are still live on PM Express. A conversation has been, become a pretty heated, but you can understand why. Um, the, there's a history to all this. It's been going on for years. By-elections have become such a, such, such a monstrous animal. Uh, in the studio with me is James Agaga. He is a ranking member on Defense and Interior. Uh, he has been the deputy uh, interior minister before. Also in the studio is Martin Yindam, the first deputy majority whip as well in parliament. I mean, I, I think it's just one thing that was clear in the conversation so far, that both of you agree that both the MPP and NDC have been guilty of this in the past. Do you say you agree with that? You've been guilty of this in the past? Uh, well, I've tried to explain that the circumstances are but, not the but, same. But the, but, the, but, the, but the fundamental outcomes are the no, same. No, no, no. For instance, I tried to explain. I, I get your explanation. In, I'm in, saying in that. In Talency, there was a clash. But what about Tripoli? Tripoli was a clash. But, but you see, but they also explain. So, so you, you, I mean, we can, we can go on about that. But yes, I'm saying that yes. the outcome, regardless of what trigger The was, point is that political vigilantism must, must be dealt with. Good. So let's deal with that. Yes. How do we? You see, so they, they say you did it. They're also doing it. In fact, there are people in the MPP who say, ah, but you beat us at um, uh, Let My Vote Count Alliance. And so they're happy that Sam George has also been beating, right? So there's a vicious cycle. Who beat anybody uh, when Occupy Ghana or Let oh, My we Vote saw, Count we Alliance? We saw photos of people like Gabby and Rachel Black who yes, have been beaten in drenches. They were, they were not beaten by sweat. NDC vigilantes. I mean, the, the police who are charged with the uh, uh, task of maintaining law and order and public order yeah. when um, you know, citizens decide to embark upon demonstrations thought that some roots agreed upon had been violated. Okay, I mean, that, that's a separate story. Yes, yes. It, so, so NDC vigilantes my, 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 did not my, beat up my bigger question Gabi is, Ochele Dako. we've seen a vicious cycle from yes. Etiwa to yes. Talensi to Tripoli to Ayawaso. How do we break this vicious cycle? Yes. And, and let's speak about politics yes. now. Party yeah, yes, politics, Evans, if you ask and, me. And draw on your experience as Evans, a former deputy. Evans, if you ask me, I will tell you that I have no doubt whatsoever in my mind that the security agencies, if allowed to operate devoid of political interference, has what it takes to deal with the problem of vigilantism mm -hmm. once and for all. My question to you is, when you were the deputy minister yes. and all this was still happening, That's what right. made it impossible for you to, your people, not you, but your system, yeah. not to interfere? Yeah, I think, you see, we've had... What, 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 what are the things that makes it difficult for people like yourself, Brian? You know, Chapman, you know just the stay away from me. The, yeah, but I never interfered like No, I'm did. not saying you personally. Yes. But the people in your government yes. who did, and you know that. No, no who, oh, who were ministers of state oh, and interfered. Oh, oh, please. No, anyway, I think the fundamental, this, this I think the fundamental uh, issue is that we have um, lived with this dispensation. I'm talking about the constitutional dispensation True. that for we're while, currently yes. enjoying for yeah. a while. Yeah. And that is why at some point in time, Professor Mills commissioned the Constitutional Review uh, uh, Commission to look into... Um, the provisions of our constitution and come out with recommendations for the possible review mm -hmm. of the constitution. Unfortunately, we have swept the recommendations under the carpet. I think we need to take a second look okay. at certain provisions which, in our which constitution. Which specifically? Uh, for instance, uh, provisions relating to the police service and its establishment, okay. etc. The appoint mode of appointment of an inspector general of police and so on. I, I think the Inspector General of Police should have a fixed tenure of office. Look, when I was Deputy Minister and uh, I deputized for about three different ministers, the Honorable Kwesi Ahoy was my first boss. I mean, I served under him uh, at the first instance. He constantly made the point that, look, 
he was not happy with the um, fact that government in power was uh, the, the, the one with the responsibility to appoint the Inspector General of Police, and that he had wished that <coughs> a day would come when politicians would wash their hands from having anything to do with the appointment of the Inspector General of Police. I think it's something worth considering. We, sh we, we should have an independent commission in place who should have the responsibility of appointing the Inspector General of Police. Once they are, they are appointed, they should have a fixed tenure of office like justices of the superior courts. Mm. So that when you rise to that level, you don't turn back to look at politicians. When it's wrong, it's wrong. When a crime is committed, irrespective of whoever is responsible, you have the courage and the guts to go after the person. Not until those changes are done, we're going to continue to have challenges. But above all, you see, certain practices mm -hmm. were bequeathed to the NPP administration. Such as? Look, during elections, the practice has always been that the political leadership in the security sector would step aside and allow the professional leadership of the security agencies to take charge, manage the elections, and when the elections are over, or when there is the need for them to report, they report. But not until the elections are over, the political leadership would usually, I mean, take a back seat. Unfortunately, that is not what we saw during the conduct of the Ayawa Suba elections because Brian Achampong is a political appointee. He has said as much. Yes, he, 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 he defied the practice, time, which is time honored and tested, and descended to the level of operations. I think that is why we had challenges at Ayawa Suba. So that is one practice which has helped us a lot. Whenever it's elections, let the political leadership step, step aside and allow the professionals to do their work without any hindrance. When we do that, I'm sure it would help us a great deal. Mm. You know, we have continually talked about the need for us to have an independent police complaints commission in place. Yes. As part of the uh, transformational agenda of the police service, I think they should look at uh, uh, making that intervention. Sure. It's very critical. Yeah. We started it, but uh, we, we, we were not successful. The matter got to the level of the police council before we left office prematurely yeah. in 2016. It is my hope that this government will take it up yeah. and, and, and put that body in place. Yeah. If that body were in place, trust me, all the investigations that <coughs> we are asking that... You, you would have petitioned the commission? The commission! Because it's Absolutely, to, 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 to take it up Mr. and Nyan deal Nyan with the issues Nyan, once you, and for You've all. consistently, from the beginning of the conversation, said... Let's adopt the natural approach. Sure. Um, but we know this problem of, you know, party activists getting into national security is a problem. It's, it's breeding this cycle. What are your own mm. recommendations uh, on how this can be fixed? So that 2020, many people, I'll tell you, who are looking for visas so that 2020, when something happens, you get on a plane and leave the country yeah. because mm -hmm. of Ayawaso. How do we, how do we <laughs> fix the cycle? Evans. I don't think anybody needs a visa to travel outside Ghana. 2020 is going to be very peaceful. We've raised alarm. 2016, we had a very peaceful election. Amen. Okay, upon all what happened at Talensi, mm. we had a very successful election. But the, but the professionals are warning us. Yeah, I, I don't have any problem. Uh, Kofi Boateng yes, said need, to us that need if we don't continue. fix it in yes, 2020, there might need, be an explosion. Yes, they need to continue to warn us. Okay. And I want to use this platform to warn my brother and myself. Okay. The, when we get this opportunity to talk, okay, let's show some remorse when we are wrong, okay. When we have some kind of pluses, let's 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 also mm. also say yes. After this one, we've done it well, okay. Look, political vigilante or whatever they call it. Me, I have never mobilized anybody in my constituency to go and find anybody. Okay, I expect him to do same. I expect political leaders. Ah, are you suggesting that I have vigilance? I am. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that do same. <laughs> are you getting what I'm saying? You see, I expect, <laughs> that, <laughs> yes, I expect that the two <laughs> political parties, okay, when I see Edun Ketia get the opportunity to talk, yeah. he should speak and condemn his own boys who misbehave. Yeah. Okay? The hawks, the dragons, whatever they call themselves. We should condemn it. Yeah. The Delta Force, the Invisible Forces, 
Those people who will create problems within MPP, we should have the courage to condemn it. But most of us disband them. Yes. You see, there is one thing. Everybody will need somebody, or the youth, or people, to do some kind of operation. But operation should not be a violent operation. Yes, be peaceful within the law. Exactly. Because you need to do cleanup exercise, you need to do so many things. You need this young man with hot blood to help you achieve that. But that should not transform into violence. Into violence. That is what we should be doing as political parties. Okay. You see, as for appointments and other things, I also have a problem. If okay. you appoint me as the IGP, and that is one thing I want to beg. The fact that you've been appointed IGP does not mean that you don't have, excuse me to say, you don't have your conscience. You do. Wrong is wrong. Are you getting me? I will not sit here and say that <coughs> if the IGP gets up today to tell the president that, President, this is what is going on. It is wrong. President will fire him. I don't think so. But unfortunately, everybody in Ghana is a politician. Everybody come to the media. You know those who are MPP, you know those who are NDC. That's true. When NDC issues come, you know how to report. When MPP issues come, you know how to report. Why will everybody want to be a politician? Why? You see, and if everybody is a politician, obviously, you will like your party to, to grow. Whichever way, I will do the same. Mm. Are you getting me? And those of us who are also leading, like I said, we should have the courage. Not because he's in opposition. Today he has his mouth to talk because he's in opposition mm. and say all manner of things. But our champion should be fired. When your boy, your boss said violent be God violent, you couldn't say this man should not sit there. No, they should we, fire we him. Should they equalize now? I think we're I'm not equalized. You see, when you sit there and say yeah. that somebody should be fired. Yeah, but 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 his case is in the past. You are in government now. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That so you are talking about. Let's look at the way I, forward. I get it. So the way forward. The, yeah, the way you, forward you, is what I'm saying. Is that when he's in opposition, the that is his solution to the Come problem. Again. Again. The solution is that. The man who deployed the people who we've seen the videos beating people should step aside from the investigation so happen. You, you know something? Isn't that a fair call? It is a fair call. There was this, uh, there is this story in the Bible where somebody was hugely indebted to somebody and he decided to forgive him. He walks out, he sees somebody who's owing him just on small city. He started attacking the person. The rich man came and said, throw this man to jail. You know why? Mm. Those who seek justice must come with clean hands. Oh, so are you suggesting? I am not. My so, so, no. So, yes, so for you, I, I'm so, just saying. I'm yeah. just telling you that the way forward is that the way I'm speaking today. Yes. And if I get back to opposition, I should have the courage to speak that same way. Okay. Today he's in opposition. When he gets to government, he should speak the same way. Okay. Evil is evil. Wrong is wrong. Okay. We shouldn't sit down and pretend. Oh, after today is Brown. Yeah. Brown should step down. He's uh, what and what. Tomorrow, so, so you want consistency? Be consistency. But, the principle. But, but, but Evers, should but be respected. Oyoko never deployed oh. arm tax. I tell you, if you're a minister, and that is the difference. The minister of he interior, the minister of interior can tell it. somebody that when you bring violence, violence, pay him yeah. back violence. Yeah. You think that one is a fair call? Justify. But by the way, is it a fair call? But, but by the way, but th that was in the past. Yes. You, you're making a point about yes. what your views are yes. in trying to fix yes. this problem. Then uh, let's come to. And you said something about journalism, you know, but here, most we don't do that. Who told you you don't do that? That's why you think. Uh, I'm telling you. Do you, the the you know the perception? You know the perception out there. Yeah, well, you don't. Yeah, well, so the perception so. is perception. You can't do anything about it. Oh, yeah, but okay. I'm talking about reality. Well, well, you are working here. If you say so, I agree. <laughs> Take my word for it. Let's yeah. So, so the state uh, people growing through the system. Yeah. I agree. I agree. It should not be like every sensitive position should be appointed by the president. I, I think that the constitution, the 1992 constitution, it's been long. And the framers and what the circumstances that existed those days have changed. Have changed. So we should review it. Yes, some areas we need to review it. So that at the end of the day, some people can grow. <coughs> okay, when you grow through the system, sometimes you have the courage to say, ah, for this one, yes, I will be able to stand and nobody will fire me yeah. the next morning. But this one, because of the way everybody wants to live well, he, he's afraid. Mm. People are even afraid to resign. Okay, in some countries, a little thing, you don't even need the president to come and fight. The person tells you, no, I'm mm. I've resigned. It, on principle that, yes. F final question for both of you, because you are both leaders in parliament, you are a ranking member on your committee, you are in the leadership proper. What is parliament going to do about this latest incident? Let me start with you, Mr. Inda. You see, parliament, for now, eh, we are disabled. Okay. How? Yes, we are disabled because of the way we started it. Because of the way, the, way, the way we started it, 
Okay. Explain that because of oh. who? When is it we, we? We we as members of parliament no. because of taking. How, how look, you, you see, okay, James because of the partisan position. Yeah, exactly. Okay, but James but, mentioned something here. Yeah. That it is not because of their their boycotting this morning that we did not actually add our voice. Actually, has he made a statement on the floor concerning some of these issues? Ah, okay. But why? And why? why we, we, because oh, we, we, yes. we just run out of time. So 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 beyond. Can you can we go beyond the party politics and let Parliament as an institution step in? Because you see, there's a gap now. Yeah, Civil society is. is trying to fix, step, step in. Yes. International yes. agencies are yes. coming in, yes. but Parliament, you yes. represent yes. us. Yes. Yes. What is your commitment you to also help the cause? We will help. How? Are you getting me? Specifically. Specifically, with the two, the, the leadership. Tomorrow, I'm sure tomorrow morning we will meet. Okay. We will try to iron out our differences. Okay. And if they still insist, they want to go the way they are going, mm. I don't think that if, we if will they have compromise, that. if they step down, would you? What would, what if would they happen? come down and say, look, this issue is a national issue. And they want to Let talk? the two sides, the two leaders, make some kind of a statement on it, condemning it. It will be done neatly. We've okay. done some before. Okay. I'm grateful. Your, your final thoughts on that? Evans. Very briefly, because I, have, I don't have time. Uh, yes, Evans. The majority side of the aisle has not been helpful in this matter. <laughs> so look, he's accused, you're also accusing them. Yes, look, look, when the majority leader came under attack yeah. from a member who also happens to come from the majority side. There was of unity the in, in dealing with the matter, I know. Yes, yeah. it was the ma minority chief whip who, who, who took who the thing stood up, up yeah. and took up the matter and got a referral at the, the risk of uh, in carrying the wrath of. The majority never, ne never mind. Yeah. So, 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 now, so, so on this matter, though, I have 30 seconds. Yes. We, we, we shall. Okay. We shall file questions. Okay. And direct them at the Honorable Brian Achampo to appear before the House and answer. Okay. The Committee for Defense and Interior, it is our expectation that when appropriate steps are taken, the majority should support us. He will, right? For the conduct of people like it's Brian Achampong to be referred used, to the committee for used, investigation. Use the word appropriate, mm -hmm. and I expect that they do same. Okay, I'm grateful, gentlemen. I expect that you I, do at that. At least some progress has been made on this. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, Martin Yindam, <laughs> first deputy whip of Parliament, uh, and also James. Hague. You know they are friends. You know they are shaking hands in the studio, <laughs> so nobody's fighting. That is the spirit <laughs> we want to go into 2020. Um, when you talk, but also. Think about the bigger picture in trying to resolve our differences. <laughs> My name is Evans Mens. Enjoy the rest Where of your evening. Was?